What does a Turk mean for you? Growing up, really, I couldn't really pinpoint what um, a Turk was for me. I lived uh, in a region called Ararat, which literally was on the border of Turkey. And we could actually, in the mornings, hear the morning call, the prayer. It was so close. I'd lived in Armenia till I was uh, about eight. I'd never met a Turk, didn't know anything about Turks, except that these are people that, uh, in a way, we do fear, and we're neighbors. I was, uh, I remember uh, distinctly, I was in uh, ninth grade, uh, learning about the um, Holocaust. I went home and talked about the Holocaust with my parents, and they said, well, there is the Armenian genocide as well, and it's quite similar. And that was the first time we actually had a uh, talk. My parents never really wanted to talk about it. And this was actually around the time where um, computers became kind of household um, things. And I remember Googling things and I came across a lot of images and pictures. And in my mind, I thought just because I hadn't heard about it, I had learned about it. My parents didn't talk about it. My grandparents didn't tell me anything about it. Um, I thought no one else knew either about it, and because the internet was such a new thing, when I came across these pictures, I started burning through our ink cartilage, thinking I have to print all of these pictures, I have to preserve it, no one knows about it, I have to share this, I have to tell people about this. And I know it sounds so silly now thinking about it, but that feeling, uh, it, it's so distinct that I thought, I have to preserve this piece of history. How was it for you? How did you learn about the Armenian Genocide? When I was growing up, I had no idea that there were Armenians in Turkey. I think until I was 16 years old. In our official history, they told us there were Armenians and they collaborated with Russians during the First World War and they betrayed us. And we, within the war, they killed us, and we killed them, and we, and they, they left, or we displaced them. I think until 16 years old, I, I started to be interested in politics, and started to read about his Turkish history from the non-official sources, and then I started to see that there were Armenians, and something happened to them. I was living in Izmir. A city that so was so multicultural. There were Greeks, Armenians, Jews, and Turks. And then I think Hrant Dink was one of the main figure in Turkey who told us, who taught us many things about the Armenian issue by using his newspaper Agos. And I was reading what he was writing about. So I learned more and more about the display. The, that I was not sure if it was a displacement or genocide, but. By reading him, I learned that there was a genocide. And one day, in the first page of August, we saw that the stepdaughter of the Atatürk, who founded Turkey, was an Armenian. And then this, this news caused too many problems for Hranting. And at the end, a 16 year old fascist boy killed him in the middle of Istanbul. Not just with his life, but with his death. He taught us a lot about the Armenian issue. There were a lot of things around me that once I learned about the Armenian genocide made much more sense. I, my, my grandparents weren't able to speak Armenian well, but on the other hand, you know, they spoke perfect um, Turkish. And I had the sense that Turks were really kind of the bad guys, and we used uh, the word Turk as an insult. But here I have my grandparents speaking perfect Turkish, and yet they're struggling to speak um, Armenian, which is my native language, with me. And to me that was always strange, it just didn't make any sense. Um, but then once I finally 
asked my parents about my own family history. I learned that my family uh, fled from Turkey and finally had settled in Syria where they live as if they were Arabs because they were still afraid if they had spoken Armenian or taught their children Armenian that people would uh, identify them as Armenians and um, they saw that as um, you know being a target and so when they finally resettled in Armenia they had to learn Armenian as a new foreign language. So what they teach us in schools is to be proud of being a Turk in Turkey <clears throat> and at least until the last decade they assumed that anyone living in Turkey is Turkish. So this is what we were thinking as young boys in the schools. I thought that all oh, we are Turks. So this was how we grow up. But then when I came to 16, 15, 16 years old, I started to realize that there are some other people around us. There are Kurds, Greeks and Armenians in Istanbul. So I started to realize that it is not just uh, one color, but there are many different colors. And there were even more colors before in our history. So after the assassination of Hrant Dink, and as I told you, the Armen they use Armenian word as a curse in Turkey as well. After Hrant Dink was killed because of his ideas, hundred thousands of Turkish people went to streets, took the streets. It was like a drop of tear trying to clean the streets of Istanbul from all this nationalist poison. We had a banner in the in the in front of the march says all we are Armenians and all we are Hrants. So it was a I think very important new moment in our history that hundred thousands of people took the streets and said we are Armenians. I think this was a way to also apologize. From your perspective, why does the Turkish government continue denying the Armenian genocide? And how do you feel about that? So I think the Turkish people and the Turkish government have different reasons to deny this problem. I do not think that my mother or father have even read something about the Armenian genocide. They have no idea what has happened. And my grandparents were born after the genocide, and I'm not sure if they really know what has happened in, in Turkey. And in terms of Turkish state, they have economical reasons, and they have political reasons that they deny. I think what we have to, as Armenians and Turks, or the, peop the Turkish citizens in Turkey, we have to fight for the justice, because I think this is a justice issue. The Turkish state has to apologize from what had happened in, in 1915, and also give the stolen properties back to the Armenian people, and also open the border and protect the Armenian heritage in Turkey. My grandfather is from Kayseri, and he was telling us that when he was a child, they were a group of children were going to somewhere a bit far from their village, and they were throwing stones to the walls of the church. There were mosaics. And I never thought, okay, who were going to church? I didn't ask this question when I was a child, but it was an Armenian church, and they were going and throwing this stone. Of course, he was an innocent child, but they were destroying the Armenian heritage. So I feel the shame of this. And as a Turkish citizen, I will try to apologize by fighting for justice in Turkey to, to, for justice. Yeah. So, um, we just met today, and I think just this very brief experience has been tremendous for me. I've only met a few Turks here and there, and every time that just kind of impacts me because I realize that my understanding um, of what a Turk is is very limited um, and I've met so many great people who have uh, shared their stories and their you know history as well um, and that has enriched, it has enriched uh, my outlook, it has helped me to grow as a person um, because I think um, we have to actively try to learn about um, others as well and 
as much as um, Turks don't know about the Armenian genocide, I think um, um, sometimes uh, maybe as equally we Armenians have to uh, make a greater effort to reach out to other Turks and try to learn uh, from them as well and understand their perspective um, and having to deal with this very difficult past and coming to terms with, with this uh, um, dark past. So I want to I thank you uh, for being here today and uh, well, thank you. Um, I just want to tell you as an Armenian friend and uh, other Armenians that in the last five years we started to have commemorations in Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir and Diyarbakir Ahmet about the uh, Armenian genocide. So more people are going to streets talking about this, more books are published and there are more brave people talking about the issue. I think this is the solution. The dialogue in between Turks and the Armenians will be the issue and the fight for the justice in Armenia and Turkey and, or wherever we are is the key for all the problems. <laughs> Desnoy 